I suppose we're all stewards in one way or another. It, uh, it means that uh, we're going to do something with what we have. We're either going to hide it, we're going to use it selfishly, or we're going to make it a vehicle of thanksgiving to God and solidarity with others. Project Rachel is a compassionate and confidential ministry which extends God's healing mercy to women who have experienced the tragedy of abortion. This ministry is also for fathers, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and siblings, or anyone who is dealing with the tragedy of abortion. I had an abortion in 1982 while I was in college, and I had a second one in 1988. After my second abortion, um, kind of spiraled into some depression, um, feelings of unworthiness and unforgiveness. Um, I didn't think that the church would be an answer for this. After going through the 10-week program and later going through a Rachel's Vineyard retreat, um, I started to feel the uh, forgiveness from the church. A lot of people think that it's too big a sin that God can't forgive me and that I can't return to the church. And through Rachel's Vineyard, uh, there is a priest present, confession is available, and that, that's probably one of the most powerful things about, about the retreat. At a time when a woman or a man feels uh, rejected, alone, uh, they can be embraced in the arms of the church. In 2016, we ordained our second Latino priest in the last five years, uh, which is a great gift for the Archdiocese. One of the goals of our vocations office over the past couple of years has been to reach out more to our different cultural communities and to work with them to encourage vocations in their local communities. Porque somos una arquidiócesis donde el ministerio hispano apenas está creciendo y el ver que está beneficiando algunos de los programas me permite a mí hacer la conexión directa y ver el fruto que está teniendo el apoyar esta campaña. As we look to the future of our Catholic schools in the Archdiocese, we realize um, forming passionate leaders is very important. So through the United Catholic Appeal dollars, that allows our office to enhance what um, is happening in our schools. The United Catholic Appeal supports all levels of seminary formation, so both college level seminary and the graduate theology level. The graduate theology level of seminary, the Archdiocese pays for 100% of that seminary level education. On the undergraduate college level, we work with our families and come up with a, a plan where the Archdiocese provides some of the financial support and families also provide what they can to support their, their sons in seminary. I think that the support that the United Catholic Appeal gives to our retired priests is um, a, 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 an expression of, of love for them that endures even when they can't do as much as they, they used to do. The trend that we're seeing in Catholic Charities with um, the working poor is that uh, numbers are going up. We need to see who the poor are. They are our grandparents. They are our aunts and uncles. They are the woman that lives down the street. They're generally uh, families. Uh, majority of them have children, dependents at home. Some also have a grandparent that may be living with them. What we see generally is anywhere from 30 to 50 families a day. I think the, the perception is that we're helping the people that are standing out on the roads with the signs. We're not. We've got average people coming in looking for assistance that have a job or two jobs and they just need some help. Ten dollars would help us purchase probably three meals per family. Fifteen dollars helps us 
provide them with some hygiene products as well. United Catholic Appeal Funds are very critical to our program. We all are here for different reasons, but the main reason is we were homeless. Uh, Holy Family Shelter is an emergency homeless shelter specifically for families. When I think about the United Catholic Appeal and its profound positive effect on Holy Family Shelter, I think about the original mission of why Holy Family Shelter opened 32 years ago. It, it was done with the intention of keeping homeless families together during this time of crisis. No gift is too small. That's not just, I think, a jargon or, or an empty slogan. Just ask a mother who receives a dandelion from her four-year-old. It isn't simply to acquire money. It's to make possible ministry, but in doing so, to let us experience the real joy of giving. <laughs>